Andre Ward shows up on Max on Boxing, and I was shocked at what he had to say. Let's talk about it. Push the weight in your flex. Flex the loudest one in the six. Hey, the runner boy, you no question. You ain't one of motherfucking high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. Right. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, bronze song deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Wow. Now, y'all know we got a great fight coming up. Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. Y'all already know I'm riding with the American. But Andre Ward said something that I was like, I don't know about that one, but um, let's just say he he needed this. He he, he what Andre Ward is predicting. Caleb kind of needs that to win. Let me explain. For those of you that don't know, he basically said that it's not going twelve. He's picking Caleb Plant for the stoppage. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Now, when you hear it, you're like, nah, I, no, no, that, 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 that can't be right. When you hear it, but is he crazy? Is he really crazy? Let's look at some things. Let's look at some things. You heard um, Caleb say in that infamous, now infamous press conference, what, Miguel Cotto's brother could hurt you, but I can't. And then I thought about it and I said, you know, that is true. And let me say this, Canelo Alvarez showed professionalism in that fight. He was hurt. But for him at that age, to show the poise that he showed, that made me wonder, like, wow, man. Wow. He didn't panic. He had a poker face on. No panicking, nothing. Nothing. I was like, woo, look at this kid. And I know a lot of people will say things like, well, you know, he was young. That was early in his career. You know, early in his career, you know, young. But I'm not going to give y'all that. At first, I used to think that, but I'm not going to give y'all that. You know why? You know why? That was his 33rd fight. That was his 33rd fight. 33rd. So he made a mistake. He was calm. And he got the win. So shout out to uh, 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 Alvarez for that. But I want to look at something else, though. Not that. We can't act like Canelo's unbeatable. We can't act like that. We've seen him lose. We've seen him lose to who? Floyd Mayweather. Oh, but that's Floyd Mayweather. Oh, now you want to admit that he's the best in the game? Now that he's gone? You want to admit it now, right? It's another topic. It is, but it isn't. But we've seen him lose before. We've seen him look bad in spots. He looked bad again. Well, he looked good, but not good enough to win against Floyd Mayweather. We've seen Canelo get outboxed. Now, many of you will say, but he's he's gotten better since then. Has he? Has he? 
Has he fought anybody else like Floyd Mayweather to say that he's gotten better? And like I said, we've seen him get outboxed in spots. Austin Trout had a lot of success. Iris Landry Lara, some say he won that fight. So has he really improved? Or has he improved on selecting who he fights? What do you mean by that, Drew? Some argue that he lost against Gennady Golovkin in the first fight. He turned it up in the second fight, and kudos to him. He clearly won the second fight, but um, he took some punishment in that fight. He never fought Demetrius Andre, so you can't say, oh, well, you know, I know, I know he beat. This is boxing. You can't say for sure that your favorite fighter is going to beat the other fighter. You can't say that. The historical example, the, the most historical example of the world is Tyson versus Buster Douglas. If you bet on Buster Douglas, you became a rich man that night. I don't care if you bet $5. These fights have to happen. So I'm not taking, oh, well, look what he, Andre, no, 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 you don't know. You don't know. Another example, who knew that Vernon Forrest was going to beat the crap out of Shane Mosey like he did the first time? Who knew that Vernon Forrest was going to lose to Ricardo Mayoga twice? Who knew? His first showcase fight after uh, dominating Shane Mosley, he gets in there and we come to know Ricardo Mayoga. Who saw that coming? On paper, that wasn't supposed to happen, man. What about both Charlos? And y'all know how I feel about the Charlos, but we're keeping it boxing, right? The bottom line is can I only fight these guys? And this weird fan base justify these fights not happening for what these guys aren't good enough but all of these liam and calems from across the pond a used up kovalev who was doing well with the jab until he abandoned it for some reason think about what i said i mean really think about it all these european fighters Really think about it. So he loses to Floyd. He had trouble with Austin Trout. Never fought Demetrius Andrade. Didn't fight either Charlos. Amir Khan was having success until the inevitable happened. When I say the ine inevitable, no one thought that Amir was going to win that fight. We knew that was going to happen. In fact, everyone was wondering, why did he take that fight? No Charlo, no Andre, Amir Khan, though. And again, some fan base was cool with that. I don't get it. I don't get it, but I do. So when he was talking to Max Kellerman, um, he says something like, uh, <sighs> trying to remember what he said. Says something that about, you know, Andre Ward can't fight the fight for Caleb Plant, which is true. But if it came down to it, I would beat both of them on the same night. Talk your ish, Canelo. He wasn't saying that when Ward was active, though. In fact, Triple G ain't want no smoke with Andre Ward when he was active, though. So you can talk that now, which brings me to something else. I said, wow, you know, makes me wonder, is Andre talking about Caleb Plant for the stoppage <laughs> or is he talking about himself? By the way, y'all tried to lie and say that that slap didn't happen. It did. That's why I did that. But seriously, though, is Andre talking about himself? He said he never called me out before. I don't know why he would do that now. 
well, Andre, because you've been out of the ring so long and you stay in shape, but you're not in fighting shape. You know, word on the street is, you know, I don't know. You might be coming out of retirement. Who knows? Um, but, you know, that's just a thought. That's just me thinking. Is Andre talking about Plant or is he talking about himself? I don't know. But um, Kata Plant has all the tools to be successful. Will he be successful? Fighting in the pocket with uh, uh, Canelo is tough. His body shot game is ridiculous. But at the same time, let's not discredit Caleb Plant. He was the underdog against Uskatiki. Hope I said his name right. What, he dropped him once, twice? Went on to win. So he does have some power. And Andre Ward recently said, yo, you got to bully the bully. What if he goes in there and starts pushing him around? In and out, boom, 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 in and out. In the clinch, muscling him. He is the bigger guy. So I, I just want to see what happens, man. So this, 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 what Andre Ward said on Max on Boxing, um, it, it sort of makes you get the wheels turning. This isn't a wash like you would think. So I'm, I'm riding with the American. But at no point am I saying that this is easy work. Like I said, man, Caleb is already down on the cards. They're already done. They're all 10, nine rounds. I'm sorry. The first four rounds already done. Right? And one of them is damn near 10, eight. But the cards are already done. It's Caleb's job to turn the cards. The cards are already done. And he's down 10, eight, one of those rounds. This is Canelo. One judge thought that he beat Floyd. <laughs> I think, what is he, either beat him or it was a draw? What fight were they watching? I don't know. There's no way you can watch Canelo versus Floyd and say that Canelo won the fight or it was a draw. Impossible. But after that fight, I said, that's the beginning. This kid, you won't be able to beat him on the cards. Hey, Amen. But I'm looking forward to the fight. It's boxing. Canelo could go in there and get rid of him. But if you start seeing some things that Canelo has trouble with, think back at the fights that he had where he had trouble. We had to make adjustments. Amir Khan, Sergey Kovalev. Both of those fights ended in knockouts. But how do you explain Iris Landry Lara? How do you explain Austin Trout, who got dropped in that fight, but he gave him problems? Fighting on the inside, Miguel Cotto. His brother rocked him, but lost, but Miguel Cotto fought him with the basics. Didn't do enough to win, but Canelo's not unbeatable. We've seen him lose. we see seen when it gives him problems. And the questions that we don't have answered, the Charlos, the Andres, you think Lara doesn't deserve a rematch? Think about it, man. Think about it. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what happens. But uh, that was uh, that was very um, eye-opening. And if you could put your hate aside, it actually made you think. So I'm looking forward to it. Bronx on deck.